Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro. Why you or Bhima, no matter which device you have, this video is for you guys. Well, today we are talking about a new combo that I have been trying in the last 24 hours. I might stream with it, but I kind of like it and let's discuss this today. The latest update of CR Droid is here for the Poco X3 Pro and we are talking about a brand new kernel called Kangaroo X. That is what we are talking about. We did game on it. The benchmarks have been tried. It is there on my personal device so you will get a pretty good glimpse of what exactly you need to expect when you flash this particular combo but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us and talk with like-minded more than thousand people last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, the way we will start this one is we will look at the change log of CR Droid, then we will look at the change log of the kernel and we will talk about my impressions and then we can talk about the benchmark numbers. So first of all, CR Droid version 7.7 .7 official Android 11 updated on the 1st of July 2021. Device change log, new brightness values, improvements are fixed bugs in default launcher, translation updates, Fixed OTA update, ROM source updates can be directly flashed. Wipe cache, Dalvik cache recommended. SE Linux status is enforcing. Safety net passes out of the box. Vanilla build, no G apps included. Recommended G apps, Flame G apps, or Mind the G apps. I am using Flame G apps. And Android Auto requires Mind the G apps to run properly. And firmware anywhere between 12.0.4 to 12.5.2. So basically, all the firmwares are supported. Now let's talk about this wonderful new kernel which has been giving me good battery life and great performance, right? So fixed screen glitches features based on kernel LNX 4.14 R15 release R40 merged in XFAT and DFS support KCAL control many tracing logging debugging disabled many performance improvements updated BFQ IO shed Simple LMK, wire guard added, Dynamics S-Tune Boost, PS controller support, many more. So, I am pretty sure most of the things that you read in the kernel part would have been Greek and Spanish. That's completely fine. We don't need to understand them. We are here to help you with that. I've tried this kernel. My experience has been good. So, you can definitely give it a try. And before you come up with a question, is it better than AeroS plus lip kernel? Well, they are pretty similar. So, don't compare them. But AeroS plus this kernel, it's still a better performance than CR Droid plus this kernel. Well, that's not to discredit the ROM and its amazing developers because this ROM has been working great. It's been pretty, pretty smooth, sorted with all the features working as expected. It does come with a Gcam Go and when you boot for the first time it doesn't really come with any bloatware out of the box all these applications that you see are my test applications so the phone is very very light on its feet to boot when you boot it for the first time and it also depends on what G apps you are flashing now moving on if you look at the front and press and hold over here you go to settings you have a very very basic launcher over here right it does have hidden and protected apps to the left, you do have Google Discover. Over here at the top, you do have your notification tiles or quick tiles, whatever you want to call it. You do have screen recorder, storage, and a ton of other options like sound enhancer and stuff. So you can go ahead and use them. I have not tried the screen recorder, but what I have noticed and observed is that even if you enable the screen recorder, you don't really have any performance issues at all right now moving on let's have a look at the settings that's what we all are here for now a pretty pretty standard settings affair over here but the moment you move on to CR Droid settings that is where all the magic happens now remember in Aero OS you don't really have a lot of customization and I have personally gone to each and every option one by one and I have changed the ones which I found to be relevant for example the clock position the network indicator, this, that, the accent color and stuff like that. 
the customizations in gaming mode these switches that you see so what i'm trying to say over here is when you talk about roms like cr droid you have a ton of customization and if you're gonna ask me to give up five percent or two percent of performance to get customization of this level which makes your phone completely look different than what it would on plain boring android I would take it any day and for me this has been a pretty pretty good experience the gaming mode works just fine the notifications are blocked and moving on if if you actually go to battery over here you do have thermal profiles as well so that adds it and in addition to that you do have these options right to enable game mode touch response touch sensitivity touch resistant area and stuff so not only these things are very very good but they also make your experience of using the device even that much better now you do see that the phone is at 68 percent right so if we click over here you will see that i've played bgmi for 32 minutes and it has been discharged or it has been disconnected from the charger around six hours back after that i have been using it extensively and my usage has been just fine i am having pretty good battery life have a look at it two hours and 12 minutes of screen on time we still have close to 70 percent so that's going to be more than seven or eight hours of screen on time well the charging works fine but the thing with the kangaroo x kernel is the maximum charging speed that i observed and a big shout out to wolf for sharing this info as well is 30 watts including a 30 33 watt charger i did not see it go above 30 watts but i'm completely fine with it because 3 watts yes it makes a difference it's around 10 percent of your complete charge speed nine percent but to me it was charging pretty quick while i'm doing some project to edit a video or reply to some comments in an hour or so my phone has decent enough juice and the battery backup is pretty amazing so nothing to worry there now apart from that as i said earlier safety net passes right right off the bat and your device is certified on the play store so you won't really have a problem using this device as a daily driver the camera situation is okay because the rom comes with google camera go which works fine and you can flash your regular gcam as well you can also choose to root it with majisk and flash all the modules you want so while we are at it let's talk about the benchmark numbers as well first of all let's go to the cpu throttle test for which i have taken a screenshot so for that we will definitely have to look at google photos all right now as you can see this is not the best result i've seen much better performances but it still says the cpu throttle to 83 percent of its max performance and if we continue to geek bench over here real quick right there we go 759 single core and 2570 multi-core so that's a pretty good score but if we go to antutu benchmark over here you will see 571,131. now that's a pretty decent score for a snapdragon 860 that i have experienced in a very very long time so all in all in my opinion this combination of cr droid plus the latest kangaroo x kernel it's pretty good you can definitely give it a try you have a lot of customization the phone looks great and if you're wondering why does the display of my phone look better now because i've completely gotten rid of the screen protector i don't have a screen protector on any of my devices that is the way i choose to use my devices let me know in the comment section what do you think about this initial impressions until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye